This is your weekly rundown of the final shape, week 16, starting on September 17th. The 10th anniversary of the Destiny franchise in-game celebration event is in full swing, with each class getting a free armor set directly inspired by early concept art of Destiny 1, called Veteran Legend, plus a new emblem called Decennium. Also, by completing several quest steps, Guardians can earn a new title and seal called Legend. The 16th week of the new expansion sees the second consecutive week of the Crucible game mode Iron Banner. This is normally a week-long free-to-play Crucible event, but Bungie have decided to make it a two-week event, which means there will be no Trials of Osiris at the weekend. For the second week, the featured Iron Banner mode will be Eruption, which is a miniature version of Mayhem where multiple kills and assists in a row will speed up your recharge rate of your abilities and supers. But you might explode if you can't keep that kill streak going. The Kinetic Aggressive Frame Hand Cannon Crimmel's Dagger and Void Rapid Fire Frame Pulse Rifle Claws of the Wolf are still up for grabs. Plus, you can still earn Pinnacle Rewards, Past Iron Banner Weapons, as well as a new Emblem, Ollie Wocket, and new shader, Hammer Shock. But don't forget to collect your rewards and engrams before Lord Saladin leaves, as they will be reset when he returns in the next episode. The new exotic mission Encore is still available in the Helm for a weekly pinnacle, with two difficulty options, Normal and Expert. Completing the mission will award you with a new craftable exotic void command frame auto rifle choir of one, and finding all the hidden chests and secrets throughout will award you with the three crafting trait options. Also available for Mac 2 we have the three new battleground activities, Delve, Conduit and Core, with Enigma Protocol and Breach Executable in the Helm from Act 1. The Expert Battlegrounds will start this week's rotation with Delve. In the Pal Heart, the exotic mission Dual Destiny is available for teams of two Guardians, where you can farm the mission to earn as many new prismatic exotic class items as you like. The Final Shapes Cooperative Focus campaign mission this week will be Ascent. The Draft Guardian Match Made Excision mission is also available next to the raid for a weekly pinnacle, with the Grandmaster version granting you the Ergo Sum Catalyst and an Ascendant Shard. The featured Dontalk map this week will be Midtown, with the Field Razor Tormentor kicking off the boss rotation. For our legacy rotation, the Dreaming City this week is at a strong curse level, which means Spectre Revenge can be found in Rio Sylvia and has the Dark Monastery mission for the next week. The Blind Rail features Taken Enemies and the play Iron Mina. The Ascendant Chant will be the Agonon's Abyss over in the Bay of Drowned Wishes Lost Sector. On the moon, the weekly story mission is in the deep. The Trove Guardian is located in the Hellmouth, while the Wandering Nightmare is the Fallen Council in Archer's Line. Nightmare hunts Fogoth, Fear, Krota, Despair, and Fanatic Insanity. The Altars of Sorrow will start this week's rotation with the Nightmare of Fogoth and the Blasphemer Shotgun. On Europa this week, Praxis the Technocrat will be the Empire Hunt, Cadmus Ridge will be the Eclipse Zone, and the Exo Change will be Safeguard. Dares of Eternity Expert difficulty rounds are Hive, Vex, and Valister Arc. The Scatterhorn armor set and the Perfectus armor set will be available in Dares of Eternity with weapon set 2. Scathelock, Extraordinary Rendition, Brass Attacks, Threaded Needle, Code Duello, Imperial Needle, Far Future, Honor's Edge, Distant Terminus, Interference 6, Shepherd's Watch, and Annual Skate. The Witch Queen Weekly Story Mission is the Communion, Altar of Reflections Choice, and Altar of Reflections Pact. The Wellspring activity will start the week on attack with the Connected Bow, Feltar Diddle, and Borgon Hive Knight as the boss. The Lightful Weekly Mission is Downfall, the Partition Mission will be Hard Reset, and the Vex Incursion will be Liming Harbor. The Master Salvation Jade Raid Challenge this week is the third encounter repository called Balance Diet. The Rote of Nightmares Raid Challenge this week is the second encounter Scission called Crossfire. The King's Hall Raid Challenge this week is the fifth encounter Oryx called Hands Off. The Vow the Disciple Challenge this week is the third encounter The Upender called Defense is Down. The Vault of Glass Challenge this week is the first encounter Confluxes called Wait For It. The Deep Stone Crypt Challenge this week is the first encounter Crypt Security called Red Rover. The Garden of Salvation Challenge this week is the first encounter Embrace called To The Top. And the Last Wish Challenge this week is the fifth encounter Riven called Strength of Memory. Your Pinnacle Raid will be Krota's End over in the Legends tab, with all challenges available for each encounter, with the exotic auto rifle Necrochasm being farmable from the final boss. The Pinnacle Dungeon will be the Spire of the Watcher over on the Throne World, and the exotic Mission Rotator will be Vox Obscura, with the Dead Messenger exotic Grenade Launcher being the main reward, the Season of the Risen's Weapon Set, plus the Tusk Allegiance Armor Set. The exotic missions The Whisper and Zero Hour will also be available in the Legends tab. We have now had all 116 challenges over the first 15 weeks of the episode, so, as a reminder, if you complete 110 out of the 116, you can get a large pile of bright dust to spend at the Eververse store in-game. Lost Sectors, Tuesday Vels Labyrinth on the Cosmodrome, Wednesday Exodus Garden 2A on the Cosmodrome, Thursday the Broken Deep in the Power Heart, Friday the Blooming Deep in the Power Heart, Saturday the Forgotten Deep in the Power Heart, Sunday Perdition on Europa, and Monday Bunker E15 on Europa. Our 16th featured Nightfall Wolf Sea Specific against War Watcher Io Zebra Wrath in the highest battlegrounds Europa, with the Slammer Sword being the featured adept weapon. Iron Banner will be in the 6v6 playlist, Momentum Control should be in the Party Relentless playlist, with Countdown in the 3v3 playlist. And we should have another week of bonus Crucible ranks available all week long. 
Plus, don't forget to keep an eye on Zer this Friday at Reset to see if he's offering another chance to grab a random rolled exotic class item for 41 strange coins. Also, with us fast approaching the end of the episode, don't forget to start collecting all of your episode's Echo's pass items, any pass rewards from Bungie.net, plus your reward track items and engrams from the tower vendors before the end of the episode. Don't forget you can start hoarding the bounties that are still available to get a leg up on XP and artifact progression for the next episode. And that's it for the 16th week of the final shape. Thank you for watching. Alonzi.